Welcome back. Uh, the after ooh, three months of searching, Andrew Lloyd Webber has finally found his Dorothy in the form of 18-year-old Danielle Hope. Just to register emotion, jealousy, devotion, and really feel the part. You would stay young and chipper, and you'd lock it with a zipper if you only had the heart. You are one of the most remarkable talents I think has ever come out of any of these reality shows. A worthy Palladium follower for the greats like Liza Minnelli and, of course, the wonderful Judy Garland. moment that must have been welcome it's lovely to see thank you thank you welcome. lovely to be here so so singing that that's really tough because the emotion that you must have been feeling at that stage and then knowing you've got to sing that would be huge i know i think my head was just a bit all over the place and i think you know it was definitely coming from the heart and it wasn't like necessarily character specific because everything had just happened so fast and i was in this shape of like this state of shock and it was just oh it was an incredible feeling so there's quite a, the actual date your first opening night curtain goes up at the london palladium on the 29th of march 2011. i know <laughs> so that's a little way off now isn't it so yeah. are you just going to be in rehearsals i mean i was going to say intensive but i guess you can take quite leisurely rehearsals in that well time. yeah obviously yeah we can't start rehearsing until we've got a cast ah. so we need to cast that which i'm really really excited about because you know, I think the ensemble is the most important thing with the show because they become like your family, don't they? Yeah. Um, I think we start rehearsals around December, um, but we should have like the cast recording in about September-ish. So. Well, you're going to sing us out at the end of the show, aren't yes, you? You're gonna, I because am. the uh, the single is available to download today, uh, which it, which I think is pretty much 60 years after it was first sung by Judy Garland. Yeah. If, if it's not to the day, then it's not far. It's off. incredible, isn't it? And it's such an iconic role and iconic song, and that's quite a lot of pressure as well because obviously you're thinking, oh my god, I want to get it right and do it justice. But yeah, the single's fab, and that's for um, the BBC Performing Arts Fund and also Prostate UK. Yeah. So it's all for charity, and that's great. And we were filming the video yesterday, which was just hilarious. All the hair and I'd, makeup. I'd and never done that before, so I was like, ooh, I felt like a right little <laughs> movie star. It was great. Well, I mean, can we just discuss these here? These are the most beautiful shoes in the world, the ruby slippers. This is what it was all about. This it is. is. What was it's a girl's sitting. dream, isn't it? I mean, they you should lift them into the stunning. sunshine. Actually, get a bit of get a bit of shimmer on them. Get, get the sparkle going. There, yeah, you look at that. I'm going to keep that. These don't actually fit you, though, do they? No. And what they had to do, because obviously they had no idea who was going to win, and it was a live show, they had to average all the girls' sizes, and the average was a four. And so I'm a size six. Somebody must have had really small feet. Yeah, um, Lauren has like a size three, oh and gosh. so did little Steph Fearon. So uh, it's a wonder they keep her up, isn't I it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> so you, um, so you had to squeeze your feet into these. Yeah, I think the adrenaline carried me through. <laughs> I just went on. Then uh, getting down the stairs was just like. <laughs> and so the uh, the actual performance that 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 night, you'd said yourself that you didn't think that you were going to get it. You've been in the, the, the bottom two, haven't you? And you've been saved by the good Lord twice. Yeah, um, obviously, well, as soon as you get in the bottom two once, you think, like, there's no chance. I haven't got a chance to win now because the public aren't behind me. Um, so that's obviously a bit of a crusher. And then I just never thought that I'd win, like, because I'm so young and I haven't had any professional experience. And it just didn't occur to me ever. So you've now got to make the big move because you live Manchester, yes? Yes. And you live at home with your folks? Yes, I live at home with my mum and I've now got to uproot from Manchester, relocate to London, which oh, so, so I mean, in every about. aspect of your life, this is life-changing, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's literally, it's not just like saying the old cliche, life-changing role, like, it's changing my entire life, like what I'm doing. And like, obviously I'm sat here and, you know, I'm not at school anymore and... What about your A-levels? Um, I've got um, my last drama exam, like my written paper, on the 9th of June. Oh. Um, I had to completely finish my dance A-level. Um, I've got my AS grades, but I just wanted to get a bit of closure with it all, and I'd worked so hard that I thought, so I'm going to go back and do the exam and just cram last minute and... Hopefully see what happens. That's down well, there's to nothing the better than <laughs> for, for a drama exam than actually to do it. Yeah, yeah just at to the sit London in Palladium. Palladium. Your, yeah, Expect that Dorothy to be is enough. your yeah. coursework. Yeah, <laughs> just put that in. So so you're <laughs> sing for us at the end of the show. I am. Yes. Great. It's lovely to see you. So Many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank nice you to meet very you. Very much indeed.